So I would like to call myself an artist. It's a big responsibility, though. Uh, but I I studied art. I studied fine art, painting in specific, and I studied Arabic literature. So uh, my 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 main concern is how to combine visual and written text uh, in one practice. Uh, and I think I just found the answer maybe two years ago with the publishing house. Uh, that I co-founded with my friend, my very good friend, Sarah Shalabi in Beirut. Uh, but before that, uh, you know, I studied Arabic literature because I was so taken by uh, at, like literature in general. And, but once I started practicing visual art more, I felt less interested to, to write. But I started my career actually as an art critic in Kuwait uh, when I left in Beirut in 2006. And from journalism, I, uh, I work more in the art, uh, let's say, at the art field as, uh, as a gallerist at the beginning. And then I established, uh, like, let's say, the, the repetition of contemporary art platform that became, in a few years, one of the most uh, recognized uh, non-profit organization in the world. In 2014, after like uh, more than nine years in, uh, in curating and uh, organizing public programs, workshops, uh, I decided to leave my job uh, as a director of the institution and focus on my work as a full-time artist. Uh, and this is what I did uh, until two years ago, the idea of uh, founding and establishing a publishing house for artists book is very exciting and uh, actually needed uh, in, in our region. Uh, I don't think there is any uh, publishing house that is extremely focused on producing books as an, as an art object, as an art installation. Uh, and the way we're perceiving these books, uh, I think it makes a bit different than what other publishing houses probably are doing now. Uh, so that's, that was the main idea of why, uh, why Dongola and, uh, and of course we, so far we uh, launched uh, five books, uh, three of them are more complicated in terms of uh, how they are layered, uh, uh, like each book of them took more than a year or two years of production, of brainstorming, of execution. Our last book was uh, Ali Sheri's book, The Book of Mount. Uh, we launched the book in, at uh, Jamil Art Center in Dubai two months ago. Uh, but unfortunately, we couldn't uh, do any other launch. And we're hoping to launch it in London and Paris once uh, we get back to the real life. We can share some photos uh, from my works uh, in 2012, 2013, Ashes to the Sea. Here uh, we have a series of portraits. I did hundreds of portraits when the whole uh, death in the Mediterranean Sea, uh, you know, like started uh, taking over the news. Uh, so basically my work has to do more with media and social media news. Uh, so in 2012, I started with over 100 portraits. Uh, you can see, I mean, the ones that you can see now. Uh, and I call them states of anxiety. Uh, these portraits uh, addresses the plight of uh, thousands of migrants uh, and their like tragic conditions, uh, of course, diasporic movement. Uh, so all these portraits were executed with black ink uh, on tissue paper and uh, you know, and then I burned each portrait uh, with one cigarette. So basically, that, that when, to, to finish each portrait of, of those, I had to, to light up one cigarette. By the way, can I smoke talking about cigarettes? <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. 
<laughs> the idea was to create a very fragile work that is uh, in a way uh, resembles to the to, to the situations of these migrant people and and uh, the states of waiting waiting and anxiety uh, that they are facing on a daily basis uh, and then uh, each portrait was kind of trapped between uh, three layers of glass sheets uh, by doing this, I wanted to provoke a mental and moral reaction, uh, and also I wanted to induce uh, an active desire to liberate the portraits from their crystal prison, if I can say. Uh, after these portraits, I, in 2014, I think, I did the painting. Uh, can you go down? Uh, not this one. Uh, this is part of the project as well. Yeah. Uh, another... Yeah, maybe more. Uh, so the painting here uh, that you can see behind me, it's a five meter uh, uh, 40 by two meters 70. It's my biggest work uh, so far. Uh, and uh, it was a statement actually uh, on how I was perceiving uh, the deaths in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, and where their life uh, were cut short, they become uh, just numbers. So you read in the news, uh, like today, the, uh, 1,000 people died, 3,000 people died. And again, uh, like how, uh, you know, uh, how the whole media thing, propaganda thing, uh, is actually affecting uh, or perceiving our, uh, our lives. Uh, I think for me it was a mass destruction and from that point of view I, I, I just did this painting and it took me almost one year focusing only on that work. I mean I've always uh, liked the idea of artist book and I always felt that there is a necessity to, to, to kind of practice artist book myself. Uh, I think uh, artist book are unique when, uh, when positioned in relation to other practices. Uh, it exists within and is involved uh, across many different disciplines like drawings, painting, collage, uh, photography, uh, you know, and uh, more than anything, I think there is uh, the ability that an artist book that to tell a story, and uh, you know, and and to and to create a multidisciplinary uh, work uh, that exists in its own. Uh, I think also I was so inspired by the experience that Dia Azawi did. Uh, Dia is a very close friend of mine, and uh, you know. Uh, seeing what he did uh, with other Iraqi artists during the war uh, and during the time of conflict uh, was very inspiring as well. Uh, he had uh, kind of gathered uh, many artists uh, within this context and he called them the Fatah. Yes, my, most of my work are uh, large scale paintings. Uh, but no, I've never incorporated the artist book in my own practice. Uh, and I think it's about time, as I said, um, I just finished my, uh, my own artist book. Uh, this is something that has not, nothing to do with the Mailbox project. But uh, I think uh, probably uh, I will have more artist book uh, in my own artistic practice with time. It is not a popular medium for sure, but uh, I'm, I'm, I think many, uh, not, not many, I, I can recall now, for example, Dia Azzawi, Tal Adnan, Rafa Al Nasiri, Kamal Bullata, for sure. Uh, th there is many artists who practiced artist book uh, between 70s, 60s, 80s, uh, but uh, all these artists we can, I mean, I hate classifications uh, between modern and contemporary art. I think now there's no time for this debate. 
but less uh, artists, contemporary artists book as a contemporary uh, medium or as a contemporary practice. Uh, but of course, there is, we can still find many names. Uh, but again, as I said, uh, you know, having an, also, uh, there's another reason why artist books, because you know, me as an artist personally, I was very taken by the work of Yahya Wasati, the Iraqi artist who was born almost 800 years ago. I think if we want to uh, think about artist book in our region and Islamic art or in Arab art, uh, because also I'm not very into Islamic art term uh, when it comes to, you know, like to talk about visual work. Uh, but when we think about al wasiti and how he illustrated the maqamat of Al-Hayiri and how he wrote uh, Muhammad Al-Hayiri's uh, text, I think this was, and this could be definitely considered as an artist book. So I think, you know, all these factors or all these inspirations uh, made me feel like it's about time to, if I can do a publishing house with my, with my partner, Sarah, who was very also ambitious about the idea and who actually, she was on the one behind it. Like to, she kept pushing on, on doing the dongola. Uh, so I think those are like valid reasons uh, why don't go back. Exactly. Uh, so usually as an artist, when we buy or when we get a sketchbook, we deal with it as a sketchbook. So we don't think about it as a complete uh, artwork. Uh, and in this case, it's, it's the opposite. It's completely different. That's why I tried, maybe it was just a simple idea to have the name of the project and the name of the artist on the cover. So the artist would, uh, would have in his mind uh, that this is an artist book. It's not a sketchbook. Uh, so uh, it can be a sketchbook, of course, if they decided to. But uh, there is, of course, there is a big difference between uh, a sketchbook and an artist book. And I don't think we have the time to, it's, it's just, they are completely different approach. I'm very happy to say or to announce to your platform that we, uh, we, we managed to, to reach more than uh, 50 artists so far, and uh, uh, they already got their books. Uh, the whole idea came, you know, when I was actually doing myself, uh, I was trying for the first time to do my book, my artist book, unique edition. Uh, I have it here somewhere. Um, so uh, I got this one from China when I went to Beijing a few months ago. And when the confinement thing happened, you know, I felt that uh, I'm dealing with this book from a very personal experience. Uh, I, you know, I recalled, uh, let's say, more personal issues. Uh, and I started this project, uh, you know, let's say a month ago. I can show you some images from the book. Uh, it was done using pencils. So like for this one. Uh, so can you see it? Yeah. So I was, uh, I, you know, I, it was an amazing experience. And the way I felt that there's this kind of intimacy uh, and working in such, uh, with such medium, uh, at that time, I thought, okay, I have so many friends, all the artists that I worked with, all the artists that I met through the years, they are, they are facing same circumstances. Uh, they are uh, in, their play, in their houses, confined. Uh, so probably I can share with them the same, uh, the same idea. Maybe they will, they will also reflect the same way, the same intimate and private, personal way that I did. Uh, and this is how the project started. Uh, why a main box project? Because uh, as Dongola, we always like to collect quotes by other artists who, uh, who practice uh, artist book. 
And uh, while I was checking all the codes, uh, I found an amazing code by uh, John Baldassari. And actually this code opened up the whole uh, thing, you know, like it, he said in his book, uh, it's, it's, it's very difficult to put a painting in a mailbox. And for him, it was a very simple reason why he wanted to practice artist book, because this is something you can carry in hand and you can uh, interact with it in a more personal and intimate way. Uh, so I immediately, I called a friend of mine who works uh, in DHL because I thought all the time that, okay, there is no airports, we cannot send anything, there is no cargo, life just is like, it's stuck completely. But when he told me, yes, we're like, we're working and we're functioning, we can send cargo to any city in the world. I was, okay, I want to do this project. It was very uh, spontaneous act. Uh, I, I didn't think about uh, like where this project will go, how we, like what, how, where it will end, uh, whether it's exhibition or a book. Uh, for me, the, 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 the first uh, or the initial uh, impression that I had or feeling that I had that I want to send all these artists that I really like and I really, uh, I, I share with them a, a real friendship. I want to send them a book as a gift. They're free to work, they're free to do anything with this book. Uh, and they can also be part of the bigger project, which is uh, publishing a, a complete uh, book or catalog that includes all artist books uh, work. Uh, so uh, basically comes in this package. Uh, everything was done in-house. So we brought uh, someone who we uh, work with us usually who does all the book, like the hand binding. There is two format of the book. Uh, so here, for example, we have, uh, of course they don't come like this, this is a dummy. Uh, let's say this is Ra'ed Yassin's book. Uh, Ra'ed chose uh, uh, the hand stitch book. Uh, the, we have another one, uh, Della Corello. So here I'll open it. So the artists usually uh, receive this together. For example, so one chose La Porello. The, the name of each artist is actually designed and printed on the cover of his book to make it more personal. So, uh, like we're sending each artist one book that have his name uh, on the cover, uh, based on which format he chose, uh, and. Uh, of course, we. Uh, I was very keen to. Uh, to spray everything with alcohol, to put everything in the sunlight, uh, and of course to keep it for a few days before we ship them to, to the art studios. Uh, so there is, we were sure there's no viruses in our books. We don't want to, to kill any artists or to put them in bad circumstances. <laughs> when you're sitting in confinement and everything is a little bit gloomy uh it's it, it was like fresh air just to have something uh new to reconnect with people to to um look in the future and uh, and in a nice way and not just uh look at the small space where you're stuck in so this was already a very nice um project because of this and uh, and the excitement to be able to work, uh, I've chosen the Liparello, for example, to be able to work on, on paper and the ideas just jumping in my head or and, and the excitement of being able to start uh, something new and different. And also because a lot of projects are of course put on ice. Um, so so it's, it's uh, nice to have some movement and something fresh. Like I wrote a letter to each artist and I mentioned that ideally we would like to have images of the book because each artist will keep the book for himself. Yeah. We're not, uh, we're just like sending these books. Uh, we would like to have photographs of the actual work, maybe few images only just for the book. 
let's say after two months uh, for Reza, because uh, the whole project, again, as I said, it started, uh, I initiated the project, but Reza Abedini, the amazing Iranian graphic designer, uh, actually designed all the covers, and hopefully he will be the designer of the final book. Uh, Huda, like all other artists, she, she, she's free to, to finish it in one week, or she can take like two, three months, whatever she, uh, she's happy with. Uh, um, it's just amazing that we have amazing artists like, like Huda or Zia. Actually, first of all, uh, I am really so excited about this project. And actually, the, the making of art book are actually one of my hope. It's uh, also one of my talent that uh, I had uh, like um, some experience of uh, the making of, of art book. Uh, I did it uh, many during the university in, uh, in Rome, uh, and I did some like personal book. And even uh, I did my uh, graduation uh, uh, book about Mahmoud Darwish in, uh, in the Academy of Rome. Uh, when I got invited from Abed, I really uh, very, very um, uh, exciting and so happy because I think this will be like one of the first uh, experience in the Middle East to do with, uh, with, with, the, with the art books. Um, especially in this uh, in this difficult and this crazy time, as uh, everyone is staying home. Uh, actually, the artists are normally staying all the time <laughs> in their uh, in their place. Like me, I'm very very uh, studio artist, uh, and I think it's like it's coming in in, uh, in a great time. Uh, so I got accept uh, the invitation from Abed, and I can't wait to, to receive my uh, my book to start. Actually, Come I on. spend most most I, <laughs> I I spend most of the time like ninety percent in uh, no let's say seventy percent in my studio and thirty percent between the garden and the kitchen. So I'm just waiting, <laughs> just waiting for the the book. Basically, all the artists are from the Middle Eastern artists. I would say 90% are Arab artists. We have a few artists from Iran, but unfortunately, we it was impossible to deliver the books to Iran. We're still waiting. Uh, but uh, I would say 90% are Arab artists. We have from Berlin, we have uh, Paris, we have New York, we have Hamburg. We have Oren in uh, Algeria, we have Cairo, we have Beirut, we have uh, uh, Jordan, we have, uh, uh, we, I mean, we have Iran, but we cannot deliver. We have Ramallah, but again, we cannot deliver to Ramallah. It's very complicated. We, have, we would send them to Jordan. We have Bahrain, we have Saudi, Ahmad Mater, and Dul Rahmoud from Saudi. From Bahrain, we have uh, uh, Kamil Zakaria, Rada Khunji, uh, Faisal Samra, Abdul Rahim Sharif. And mention uh, two names. Uh, so, for example, from Paris, we have uh, Taysir Batniji, Hani Zarob, Mohammed Joha, uh, Ziad Dalul, Layla Gawid, Fatima Al Hajj. Uh, from uh, London, we have Dia Azawi, uh, Layla Shawa, Dia Batal. Dubai, we have Walid Al Wawi, we have uh, Muhammad Kazan, Christiana De Marchi, uh, Hazem Harib. Uh, from Berlin, for example, we have Khaled Barak, Nadia Kabi, Raed Yassin, Hiba Amin, Saeed Balbaki. New York, we have Kibor Murad, Muhammad Omar Khalil. Uh, I mean, there's many names. I didn't share the artist's name yet. This is the first time I'm, I'm mentioning the names. But uh, hopefully uh, next week we will, uh, we will list all the artists on our website. And actually we asked each artist to send us kind of documentation of the process of the work. Uh, so hopefully if they uh, felt, feel like uh, sharing these images or videos, 
we will uh, share them as well on our social media platforms. And as I said, there is no obligations. Uh, it's just for now. It's just a project that would uh, would uh, empower our relationship as a human beings. Uh, because you know, I think many of us are questioning today the validity of the artistic, our artistic practice, and you know, many of us probably thinking about different uh, different approach towards our uh, own production so this is just a way to open probably a new window a new door to a new practice because i i would say maybe half of the artists never uh, get exposed or practiced artist book before so it's just an invitation to uh, to give this practice or this medium uh, more presence in, in the art scene. Uh, so and I'm taking this responsibility as a publisher and as a Dongola co-founder. Uh, we, we're hoping, you know, if all artists felt that uh, their work is, uh, is, is good enough to represent them uh, in a book, and if they gave us uh, the authority uh, to publish images of this book, we'll definitely, uh, we will definitely uh, publish a, a complete uh, catalog, I would say, or a limited edition book, where each artist will receive a few copies uh, as a thank you for their contribution. Uh, and of course, uh, we will try to uh, we, we usually we don't make big uh, amount of editions, maximum 500 editions, and uh, so the remaining amount of books we will hopefully like try to. I'm not like we. I don't want to discuss now because the the aim of the project was not uh, to make a profit, uh, but we're hoping maybe at the end uh, another uh, project can be like a larger exhibition where we can exhibit all the books, this would be the, uh, like uh, the most, for me, satisfying probably uh, ending uh, of the project, maybe a touring exhibition, because as I said, because of the amount of the artists and the names of uh, artists in this project, I think it would make it an amazing project uh, to show this amount of work uh, presented in an, in an artist book in one big exhibition. Uh, we have Angelina also. Angelina, uh, Angelina, I miss you so much. So Angelina, uh, we worked together at the Mosaic Room, and we I, I, I was I curated Muhammad Omar Khalil, and she she was an amazing assistant curator. Uh, so Angelina uh, works as a curator uh, for Mosaic Room. Uh, and uh, also maybe she can say a few words about the, the project uh, that we did at the Mosaic Room. It was such a difficult decision for us to have to close the doors to this exhibition because I think, I mean, I felt quite emotionally invested in the show and it was the first UK solo of Mohammed or Mahalil. Um, um, so, you know, he's in his 80s and this, this show really had so much kind of weighing and importance to us so it was very hard to have to close the doors to the show the artist talk is available on our soundcloud there is a film that is in ex in the exhibition that was uh, made by abed and dongola that is also on youtube and vimeo we are working on a new film there is an existing film and we're kind of sharing uh, also work that didn't make it into the exhibition that we had and sort of archival works and images and photographs and things that we kind of found in the studio while, while Abbott and I were in New York. So we're just finding ways to get all those things out to you guys so you can get a better sense of Mohammed's work. I'm very happy that we also gave some a uh, few minutes to other artists. I wish uh, like the remaining ones are here. But uh, thank you so much, really, for this lovely hangout. Uh, I'm so glad to see all the faces uh, on small icons. Yeah. We miss the, the actually the reality, the physical interaction uh, with all of you. Yeah.